All right. Good morning. Welcome to Morning Mobility. Um, Coach Matt, we'll go ahead and get started here on the ground. Um, we're going to start actually lying down on the ground. Since we'll start nice and easy today. Uh, so we're going to start with uh, just some knee hugs. We're just going to uh, pull that knee in just for a few seconds and then extend it. We'll stay with the same leg. Just do a little bit of Dynamic stretching here just to promote some blood th blood flow through those hips, through those legs. So just working to fully extend that hip and then drawing that knee in. Try to feel that, uh, feel any tightness in that hip through that glute. And think about kind of pulling a little bit deeper each time you pull that knee in. Let's go one more on this side. And we'll go to the other side. Pull that knee in. Ooh, a little stiffer on that side. Again, we want to make sure that leg gets fully extended. If you even want to think about squeezing that glute at the bottom, because we're also kind of feeling that hip flexor there. Maybe you need to hold for a couple extra seconds. You can certainly do that. You can kind of be a little, uh, have a little freedom in where you're pulling that knee, whether you're pulling it straight into that chest or I'm kind of pulling it out to the side of my torso, towards that shoulder a little bit more, whatever your body's telling you. Let's go to two more this side. All right, we're going to go back to that first leg. We're going to do this time a leg cradle. So one hand is going to grab that knee. One hand is going to grab that ankle or the bottom of your foot, whichever is easier for you. Then you're going to pull that leg up and across, hoping to get a little bit deeper into the glute this time. So this one's going to be a little bit more static. We're just going to hold on this one, trying to sink deeper into this stretch. That other leg can be a nice and extended, almost like you're trying to push the back of that uh, back of that down knee into the ground, and that's going to help open those hips a little bit more. I'm going to hold here about ten more seconds. I'm going to slowly release that. And this knee, we're going to stay on top and rotate to our side, and we're going to get a nice quad stretch going on here as well. well. Normally, we would do this one standing in the air, but we're going to start nice and slow this morning. So we're going to pull that heel to the glute, trying again this front hip, get this nice and open, fully extended. Those knees are close together. And you should feel that through the whole front of the thigh. You can pull that knee back a little bit more to deepen that stretch if you need to. Ooh. Trying to stay over on that side. Trying to get a good proud chest here as well. Just promotes that uh, good airway as we're lying on our side. And we'll hang here about 10 more seconds. And we'll go ahead and slowly ease out of that. All right, you can just roll over to the other side. Um, but we're going to do the, uh, the other leg, same thing. We're going to grab that knee, that ankle. We're going to pull that into that leg cradle. And shouldn't be any pain in this position. Maybe a slight discomfort. Maybe there's some... Some tightness and tension that we need to work through. Um, first key to that is relaxing that uh, that area. Try not to fight that stretch. And maybe sometimes you need to kind of shorten that stretch. Maybe you're not pulling so aggressively on that knee or that ankle. All right, kind of slowly ease into it and find that sticking point. 
Remember that opposite knee, you were kind of pushing the back of it towards the ground to kind of lengthen that stretch through the hips. We're going to hang out here. Make sure that we're, if we're pulling the knee and the ankle up. I know sometimes it's uh, we just just kind of pull that knee or just pull that ankle, um, but it should be pretty active on both sides of that stretch. This is in a way just like your pigeon stretch, but we're we're upside down. Hold here for a few more seconds. And slowly release on that. We're going to roll over to the side. I'm going to turn all the way around so I can face the camera here. And then we're going to grab that ankle and we're going to pull that knee back. Do a nice straight line with the front of our body. And again, we're just going to try to relax that hip, that quad. If you've done a lot of squats or lunges the last couple of days, this will help open that uh, those legs up a little bit, so you can do more of them, or something else. In about five more seconds here. All right. Go ahead and stay down on the ground. We're going to do a little upper body mobility in our arm sweeps. So we're going to bring those knees up, uh, so about 90 degrees, kind of sitting in a, in a lying down chair. Arms are straight up. That top hand is going to reach, create a big circle all the way up overhead, up to the other side. When we're in this uh, kind of T arm position, um, both wrists are kind of pushing down to the ground. Knees are pushing down to the ground, both shoulders pressing down to the ground. All right, and then I can bring that arm back around. Just looking to open up that chest. Again, those shoulders, a little external rotation. Trying to keep that arm down on the ground as you sweep. Hold that extended position for a breath or so, and rotate back around. As that top hand circles around, I want you actively reaching up and around uh, on that, trying to create as big of an arch as you can. I'm going to go two more this side. Big, big reach. Again, you can hold that top if you need to work to press that shoulder into the ground and come back. We got one more over here. As big a reach as we can manage. You can see those eyes are tracking that moving hand, that sweeping arm. Bring that back around, then we'll switch sides. And we'll do the exact same thing on the other one, so we'll get those knees up. Get those arms extended and a big sweeping arch going to the other side. I always like to hold that first one for a little bit longer. Just kind of see again where the sticking points are on that one. That low back needs to decompress a little bit. Or if that shoulder needs a little extra time to get down to the ground. I know you hear us say all the time to take it to your own pace. It's your practice, but I really do challenge you to tune in with your body, see what it's telling you. A little call and response. You ask it to do something, you see if it wants to. And then instead of forcing it to do that thing, see if you can Gently coax it. Let's go one more on this side. It's always fun to compare that first rep to the last rep and see how much more contact with the ground you can make. 
All right, see how uh, see how loose you may be compared in that uh, shoulder and that low back. So once you get that last one, we'll go ahead and bring it up. Uh, we're gonna do a little bit more on those hips in that double pigeon. So we're gonna stack one foot on top of the other. Uh, if you can't quite get uh, that foot all the way up, you can cross the ankles um, or you can stack in front. That's fine as well. So go ahead and bring that foot up and we're just going to sit up nice and tall first. Think about the top of the head to the ceiling and then we're going to hinge that chest out forward. All right, we're just going to reach that chest forward and you should feel that uh, glute, that upper uh, posterior hip. Feel that uh, tension release on there. And if you want to, you can turn away from that top hip. You should get a little bit deeper in there. And again, think about reaching that chest out forward as opposed to folding down towards the ground. I like to keep that posture nice and tall on this one. Steady that breathing. Again, try not to force our way into any of these positions. And go ahead and ease up out of that. We'll switch those feet. The same thing, starting up nice and tall, head ceiling, and then gently lean forward. And if you want to take that small twist to the opposing knee, can do that. And breathing, trying to relax, start that morning off on a good note. And we'll ease up out of there. All right, <clears throat> we're going to transition up to a kneeling position. All right. Um, one foot flat on the ground on that knee. What we're going to do uh, is our favorite little hip opener stretch here. We're going to pull those hips up and we're going to gently lean forward. Should feel that stretch all the way down um, through the legs there. We're going to add a little bit of a, a pseudo yoga to this. We're going to take both of those arms, we're going to reach those arms straight up in the air. All right, so whatever a knee is down, that arm, that side arm is going to go forward. Whatever knee is up, that side arm is going to go backwards. So we're going to get a little kneeling warrior here. You can stay here, or if you'd like to, you can use that leg in the back to grab that foot or that ankle. And that opposing arm can go up. So a real deep hip stretch here. Quad stretch. You can stay there as long as you need to. You can always fall out of that back into that kind of kneeling warrior. I'm going to stay here for about 20 more seconds. Keeping that slight rotation. Still thinking that top of the head to the ceiling, though, really working to open that front side of that body. And we'll go ahead and slowly ease our way out of that. Returning back to that kneeling position. And we'll go ahead and switch sides. All right. <clears throat> so again, to kind of start this off, we're going to pull those hips up. All right, that belt buckle towards the ceiling. We're going to gently lean forward. Both of those arms are going to go up. And whatever knee is down, that arm falls forward. Knee is up, falls backwards. All right, you can stay here if you'd like to. Or we can work to grab that back heel. All right, that opposing arm goes up. Lose my balance. So you watch yourself balance in the doesn't work as well. All right, we're gonna get here. There we go. 
Find that balance. I'm leaning a little bit more into that front foot for a little more solid ground. All right, again, we're going to stay here for about 30 seconds of total. Let's try to really connect with the ground through that front foot. Right, that top arm is going to reach towards the ceiling, top of the head reaching towards the ceiling. We'll go ahead and relax uh, that. All right, let's go ahead and bring it up to our feet. The last few minutes here, we're going to start uh, really getting you ready for the day. Uh, we're going to open those hips and hamstrings, so standing nice and tall, we're going to push those hips back into the nice hip hinge. All right, we're going to get those hamstrings uh, a little bit more loose. So we're going to put those hands on our thighs or on our knees, however long your arms are. Uh, we're trying to get that back um, relatively parallel to the ground, uh, but we do want it nice and flat. So the longer, again, we can make that torso. Um, instead of head to ceiling, think about head to the front wall, all right, and hips to that back wall. So you should feel that stretch through those hamstrings. And we're going to slowly drop that down just a few inches, and then we're going to hold there. Again, just working to stretch those hamstrings. So keeping that spine nice and long, hips to the back wall, top of the head to the front wall, create that length. We're going to slide those hands down again, another inch or two, just sinking deeper and deeper into that stretch at each stage. Push that head to the front wall, really reach those hips to the back wall. So grounded through those feet, through those toes. I'm going to slide down a couple more inches. All right, again, try to keep that back straight. It's going to be our last stage in this stretch. So try to hold it. Um, if you can't quite make it any further down, um, go as low as you can while keeping that back straight. That's going to be the kind of primary focus here. Last couple seconds, and then we're going to go ahead and let that back ground and reach those hands all the way um, as far as you can. And if that's to the ground, great. If it's not, that's fine. Let that back ground. You might kind of push that low back to the ceiling, still pushing those uh, hips to the back wall, I'm just letting that head hang, those arms hang. And grab the backs of your legs, those calves, and if you can, work to pull yourself in that chest towards those knees, a little bit deeper into those hamstrings. Hang out here for about 20 seconds. Try to breathe nice and easy. We're going to slowly roll that up. Just again to where our back is nice and flat. Kind of reestablish that position. Then we'll go ahead and bring that all the way up, driving those hips through. All right. We're going to kind of do the same thing again, just add it in a little bit. <clears throat> so we're going to uh, get those hips back. Should feel a lot better through those hamstrings getting into that initial position. So once we kind of get that back as flat as we can, we're going to go ahead and bend those knees so we kind of get down into a squat. If you can, work to sink that squat lower and lower, right? Those knees are going to be worked to draw out to the sides. I like to put my elbows on the inside of those knees to help open those hips a little bit more even still. So we're just going to work to hold this deep squat here for the last little bit. We're going to hold here about 15, 20 more seconds. Again, your squat may not look like this exactly, 
maybe a little bit higher, maybe a little bit lower even still, which is fine. I just want you to find where your deep squat is and just work to open up those uh, hips. We're going to go ahead and grab those toes, those ankles, wherever you are. We're going to drive those hips up to the sky. Again, just like that forward fold. We're going to take one more seat back down. Open that chest. Hips go back up. Then we're going to slowly roll that all the way up, just a little bit at a time. So that head comes up. And now you're nice and mobile, mobile for the morning. All right. Uh, that's all we have for you this morning. We'll be back at 11.15 for some Unravel. Um, so you got your morning mobility, get your midday mobility, and then we'll launch you into classes. All right. Have a great day, folks.